this time God tells Moses to stretch out his hand and send locusts. Moses does it. Aaron is no longer the go-between. Moses has his confidence and is doing what he was supposed to be doing all along. Pharaoh this time had said just the men could go. But Moses says no, everyone had to go and worship the Lord. Include your family in your worship and service. It's something for everyone. After Pharaoh and Moses go through the whole thing again and the locusts come, Pharaoh again comes to Moses to get it to stop. This is the second time Pharaoh comes to Moses saying, I have sinned. He had said it with the last plague as well. He sort of started to repent and change his mind by saying the men could go, but he snaps back to refusing when that wasn't enough for Moses. Now again, he confesses his sin and promises repentance. His heart never changes, though. The cycle of sin, repent, repeat, continues until there is a change of heart. True repentance creates change. Fair didn't really change his mind about letting them go. If you ever find yourself in a sin-repent cycle, stop and examine your heart. It hasn't changed. Whatever the sin is that continues to be a temptation for you, otherwise you wouldn't be tempted and fall for it, you have to hate it because it is sin. You have to know God and his goodness and holiness so that you hate the thought of any sin. Loving any sin, holding on to any sin, is failing to see God for who he really is. You aren't seeing his holiness. You aren't seeing his power. He would love to bring you out of slavery. You just have to acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will make the path for you. See him, know him, humble yourself, and admit you aren't the God of your life in this area, and don't want the power to control it because you aren't making good choices. Give up the control and let him be God in your life and transform you. Welcome him as the Lord of your life in every way, at every moment, and you won't be able to choose sin.